Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. I hope that you've had a good weekend as it draws to a close. For those of you who've been working, I hope you've got some days off coming up. And for those of you who have had a weekend free of work, I hope you have found time for yourself and for those whom you love. Tonight is our Itta Compline. The Sacred Three. To save, to shield, to surround. This hearth, this home, this night, every night. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. O Father, O Son, O Holy Spirit, forgive me my sins. O only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, forgive. O God who is one, O God who is true, O God who is first. O God, who is one substance, O God, only mighty, in three persons, truly merciful, forgive. O God of life, this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life, this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. Keep your people, Lord, in the arms of your embrace. Shelter them under your wings. Be their light in darkness. Be their hope in distress. Be their calm in anxiety. Be their strength in weakness. Be their comfort in pain. Be their song in the night. In peace will I lie down, for it is you, Lord, you alone who makes me to rest secure. Be it on your own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall awake. Be the peace of the Spirit mine this night. Be the peace of the Son mine this night. Be the peace of the Father mine this night. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been a really full day for me with two services this morning. One in church and one on Zoom. And then our family service this afternoon on Facebook and it, it's been really interesting just to reflect on the the merits of each way that we can interact with people at the moment there, there's good things and bad things about about each one and it's interesting how at the moment things are kind of living alongside each other is that that process of holding things in tension and it is almost like having two churches now a, a physical one and a virtual one both equally valid and equally substantial and equally life-giving so yeah lots to think about today and our uh, our main reading for, for each of the services was Jesus sharing bread and fish where there was enough for everyone and plenty left over besides and that's how I feel about the goodness and the love that's in the world that there is more than enough for everyone and more than enough left over but that it's also 
a choice if we choose to uh, embrace that and it's a choice what we choose to give out into the world and hopefully we choose to give out love and positivity because none of that is rationed yeah so my friends i will see you tomorrow i hope you have a good peaceful end to your day and that this week is a good week please look after yourselves please stay well i've been looking at the um the graphs for the spike in covid infections for our area and yeah stay safe guys and look after each other good night